everybody just needs to get this plugin and I just I'm not overhyping it. If you have any motion or animation in your video, you should get this. It's a no brainer. Let me show you what it does. So here I have a logo and I want to animate this. All I do is grab magic animate drag this on and now I have all kinds of controls for this and let's add some animation here let's just go down to zoom control and we'll just click zoom in and boom it's there gosh it's just so instant so easy and I can adjust how much I want it to zoom in how much I want it to delay all of these things if I take this resting destination down a little bit we'll just have it end up about that size so this will just zoom in like this and I can also decide to zoom it out I just click on zoom out and it zooms out really nice. I have this zooming in and I can adjust the motion that it's ending with, with this second little box here. And I could switch this from cubic to something like back. And this will kind of get bigger and then settle down, which is a nice little thing. And it'll also mirror and go shlunk when it goes away. Oh, it's so nice. So that's just one thing. I can combine this zoom with even something like whip. So I could have it whip in as well. So it zooms and it whips in from the left and we'll have it whip out too. Oh, it would take so long to add this myself. Ah, oh, it's just so easy. And you don't even need to know. I mean, you have all of these controls, but you don't even need to really know anything about them. You can just click whip in and whip out and get some really nice fancy things. Let's have this spin in and spin out. There we go. We have a Batman logo. <laughs> so cool. We can have dissolve where it kind of fades in and out. Yeah, it comes out of nowhere. Oh, so easy. So easy. So that's just for kind of the main in and out. We also can go to mids here and we can enable mids and this will add all kinds of different things that happen in the middle of this animation. And if we just grab this zoom scale and push this up a little bit, we can have this kind of breathe a little bit. So nice. It gives it a little bit of animation. We can have this loop a couple times so now it just kind of bloop 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 goes away oh man everyone is going to use this for everything let's add a little bit of whip to it so it kind of moves back and forth that's so cool so you can add all this animation and you don't have to know anything you just start clicking stuff and moving stuff around and you can make some really really nice things this is cool too it has built-in masks and so you can just enable an ellipse mask and i can just push the size down so we can actually see it but now there's this little ellipse we can change the inside mask center look at that and i can have my little guy and it still has all of the other motion and everything say i want a border around that I just add a border let's actually disable this ellipse look this will put a border around my my logo like I don't even have to have like it, it figures out the transparency of the logo and puts a border around it gosh that's just so convenient so nice I'll just push that up a little bit push it down that's just so helpful look at all this and I didn't have to do anything there's so much stuff you can do with this and you can make your own you know and you can customize it really easily to do whatever you want to do but you can also just use one of the many presets for instance logos and text drop ball bounce roll look at this thing just put this on here and now look at that I mean come on man this would be great for something like a subscribe animation just do this zoom in elastic like this yes and then you can adjust the properties of whatever you have because it's just a preset for magic animate here's some kind of like slideshow stuff look at that oh, that's so neat there's this focus whip which blurs it as it comes in oh, that's so slick again maybe I just want this size down a little bit and adjust that this is from Mr. Alex Tech. Many of you probably know him. This dude is an absolute genius. And look, Magic Animate is 30 bucks. That's like nothing. This is such a freaking steal, man. To install Magic Animate, all you do is double click on the DRFX file that comes with the download and it'll ask, do you want to install it? Yes, you do. And now in the effects panel, under Magic Toolkit, there are a whole bunch of different tools to choose from, all kinds of presets and things, but the main effect being Magic Animate. This will like instantly pay for itself just in the time spent probably on your first video. So if you edit in Resolve, this is a no brainer. Go and get Magic Animate, download it now, install it and use it to make your videos better. Okay, that's all I have. I just, I just want to, I just want everybody needs to know. That's it. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description below. Okay, that's all I got to say about that. It's just, it's, you know, that's, this is a very, very good product, and there's, there's no doubt about that.